welcome back to the channel everybody so this is our first video in the jmri series i decided i would uh open up by actually starting to build the route real quick so we're going to have a little five minute short segment on uh building our route and while we watch it i will kind of explain uh kind of the idea here so uh, we're not going to add any scenery we're just going to lay down the track work and get the idea so you know we can just use it as a baseline to talk about operations but uh, what we're doing right now we are working on the two staging yards uh, i decided i would uh, model this as my favorite modern day class one which is the kcs so right now we are working on the i believe this is the westbound staging yard and now that we've crossed over the main we're now going to be working on the eastbound staging yard uh, these have what we call run through staging meaning that the trains when they enter staging they do not turn around they just park and so a train that's heading east will pretty much always head east uh, there is a way to do that in jmri and i will eventually talk about that i will get to that point much later in the series but uh, here we are kicking off and laying down some track work general idea here we're going to have an east and a west staging so uh, you know trains will run from east to west they'll run from west to east we're going to have an interchange yard uh, where we have our trains can drop cars off or pick cars up in order to be interchanged with uh, the Canadian National. Uh, or they can be set on uh, a track to be shipped out with the local. We're going to have one town. Uh, just keeping it simple, we're going to call it Localville. And uh, that town is going to have four industries. Of course, if I was building an actual model railroad, I would have some fancy names and stuff. But uh, for these industries, they're going to be things like, you know, Tank, Inc., Boxcar Inc., <laughs> Grain Industry Inc., you know, that kind of stuff, just to keep it simple uh, and just help keep some context. So here we're working on the interchange yard. We're going to have four tracks. Uh, one is going to be for holding cars that are going to the Canadian National. One track is going to be for receiving cars from the Canadian National. And one track is for holding cars for the local. And then one track is uh, for holding cars that are going to be leaving the yard uh, on the next wafer. So every track in this yard is going to have a purpose. And then, of course, our main still wraps around the edge there. Here I'm using some cars just to kind of measure out my shortest length here. Since I have a curve, it's kind of hard to measure the curve. So use the cars. Works perfectly. Uh, the way it's going to work is the Canadian National will have its own little staging yard over to the side, which I'm going to build in just a second. And the only thing they're ever going to do is just come into this yard, drop off their cars, pick up other cars, and then leave. This is not the Canadian National, this is the KCS, so we only let them come to the yard. Now, of course, what double track looking main line would be complete without a crossover, so got the crossover in. And now we're going to go ahead and work on the Canadian National little split off here. Just making sure here that I maintain that 24 inch minimum radius. It's a lot tighter than you would think, actually, when you look at it. I realize now when I start building my own route in the real world, I'm definitely going to probably use 36-inch radius. <laughs> Since we're only ever going to have one uh, Canadian National train come out, I figured I would just make uh, basically a track and a spur, more or less. That's all we would ever need. It's plenty long enough. Also, further on down the line, we're going to have a industry that is only served by way freights, just to show off some more JMRI features. Um, the local will only serve the town, and then way freights will serve the interchange yard and this one industry that's going to be over here in the corner. Uh, not this corner, sorry, the next corner. Right after this curve, we're going to go ahead and place the siding for localville, and then uh, start building out uh, the town and the industry that's served by the way freight. We have a little siding here in case we want to have a meet and do some rail fanning or uh, when we're running the local, naturally, you know, you're going to need to run around your train to turn around and head back to the interchange yard, so. I do need to go back, I just realized, and add a couple of tracks for holding engines and such in the interchange yard, so um, I'll add some of those later. Don't need to do that just now. All right, there's a track for Boxcar Inc. Next up are the two tracks for Grain Inc. So original. Such amazing names. This one is Reefer Inc. And then lastly we have Tank Inc. So you can kind of tell which kind of cars are going to be shipping over here to town. 
the way freight I haven't decided uh, what cars I'm gonna have the industry over there serve but we'll see when we get to the next video so just wanted to use this video to show you guys the route hopefully you guys will stay tuned as we get into JMR thanks again and we'll see you guys soon